This is a demonstration of the time domain reflectometry or TDR test on the Max 635G. By selecting the copper test icon on the Max 635G's home menu, we will then be able to access the TDR capability. By selecting the TDR icon, you will have access to a number of different TDR functions. The auto TDR is meant to automatically locate a fault and center it on the screen so users will be able to easily see where a fault exists or where the end of the circuit exists. The manual TDR will allow more control to be given to a technician in order to manipulate the trace, manipulate the outgoing pulse. And finally the crosstalk TDR is an excellent test for locating split pairs by transmitting on one pair and receiving on a second pair. If we focus on the auto TDR, so let's select the auto TDR. The auto TDR will do analysis of the circuit and it will present to the user what is the optimum range, gain and pulse width for that particular circuit based on if there are faults on the line and where the end of the circuit is. In this particular case, we can clearly see that we have a bridge tap and the end of the circuit being identified. Now the results are being shown in meters in this particular case. However, the MAX 635G can be set up to show distances in feet if required. If we want to be able to manipulate the data, we can go, for example, and modify the range. In this case, the range is at 1,000 meters, so we can increase it to 1,500 meters, and we will get a slight change to the trace. Now, by modifying the range upwards, you will also have noticed that the gain increased, but you have the option of decreasing the gain. Likewise, if you change the range to a lower range, we would apply less gain initially to the trace, but again, the user has the capability of adjusting the amount of gain being used. In situations where there's a question on if there is an event near to the max tester, you would be able to enable the variable gain to enabled. What this will do is we'll clean up, it will smooth the reflections that happen to appear at the near end of the circuit, so it clears it up greatly. If you, for example, have saved a result and you want to validate against uh, your current test, you can load a trace and use the dual offset capabilities to display two traces on the screen. In addition, what you can be, what you're able to do is if you push the landscape mode, you will be able to see the TDR trace on a much larger screen. This may simplify the understanding for many users. By selecting the portrait button, we go back to the previous screen. In some situations, you may want to understand, well, where is these different faults located? Because even though the max tester may have shown you that you do have a fault, in this case, at 543 meters, if we pick the select graph button, we would be able to move our cursor and a marker to properly highlight where events are. So right now the cursor is the blue line at 543 meters. If we change it to marker and move the marker from the zero point and move it over to the start of the bridge tap, we will be able to see, for example, that the marker is at 270 meters. The max tester will also identify to you the delta between those two points, in this case 273 meters between the start of the bridge tap and the end of the cable. Simply press the return to test to exit out of the graph mode and go back to the TDR test. If we want to migrate from an auto test, an auto TDR to the manual TDR or the crosstalk TDR, we can press the check mark key and select the appropriate TDR that we wish to run. 
That concludes our TDR demo for the Max 635G. Thank you.